Hello again, everybody. So, Tuesday, June 2nd, we're going to continue with four challenges today in our challenge week. The challenges will be <clears throat> a one minute sit up test, a tip up, which I will show you, a bounce pass, water ball knockdown, and a plank, and it's a toilet paper stacking. Okay? So, <clears throat> what you'll do is you'll, you will need some equipment, so if you want to stop the video and go get it, you'll need some toilet paper stacks. <clears throat> we won't destroy them, so you, I know they're in scarce supply, so your mom or dad might be willing to go ahead and give them to you for a couple minutes. And you'll need something to knock down either a water bottle, I happen to have this, but I assume most of you won't, so an empty water bottle will be fine. Okay, so I think you know the drill for the sit-up test. Um, you can hook your legs under something or somebody can go ahead and hold your, your feet. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to cross your um, arms like this over your chest. Somebody's going to have a, a clock with a sweep second hand or you're going to clock a minute. So we'll go ready, get set, go. And each time you come up, you're going to hit your elbows to your knees. And when you go down, you're going to go down so your shoulder blades hit, don't hit your head. So make sure you're doing it on something that's soft, go outside in the grass, on the carpet. I don't want you to do it on a hardwood floor, just too hard on your backside. Okay, and ready, get set, go. And you try to do as many as you can. Knees bent. You know, let me know how many you do. Give me a call. Shoot me an email. Okay? All right, so stop the video and go ahead and have a lot of fun with that one. All right, the next one is called a tip-up. You will definitely need something that is very soft to land on. And I'll show you why in a second. So, I'm going to turn my hat because I am going to possibly lose my balance, but what you are going to do is, so make sure you do this on the grass. If you do do it inside of the carpet, why don't you get a, like a towel and fold it over a number of times, because what you're gonna do is you're going to get down into a squat position like this. You're gonna hook your elbows in this little V that your knees have formed, and you're gonna have a nice base with your hands. Got it? So it looks like this. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to balance. You're gonna move forward and see if you can balance on just on your hands. Now you'll need something right here because you might lose your balance and come down and hit your forehead. Okay, so here's what it looks like. You're gonna rock. Now your, your elbows must be in here. If they don't, you're not gonna do it. So you just rock forward and see if you can get your feet off the ground and see if you can balance and see how long you can balance for. Okay, nothing to it, it's really easy. Okay, stop the video, see if you can do it. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready for the third challenge. which is a, I'm going to run and get the basketball, go get yours. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, practice our bounce pass. Remember the bounce pass, we're holding the ball like this. We're holding the ball like that, the thumbs together. We're stepping forward with either foot with two hands and we're pushing it. Push. Okay? So it'll look like this. Push. So you can practice that against the wall for a little bit. Definitely you're going outside and you're practicing against the garage wall. No windows anywhere near this. Okay? Now the challenge is going to be you're going to see if you can knock down the uh, water bottle. Because when you do a bounce pass, you actually 
We'll bounce it like this into the wall. And you're bouncing it like in between you and your teammate. So you're gonna challenge yourself, start very short <clears throat> with a short distance. I'm not gonna knock it down because I will have to chase it. But you can start close and see if you can knock it down. And then get a little further away. Get a little further away. Okay, you got it? Okay, stop the video. Find something you can knock down safely. An empty water bottle will be perfect. Find a nice wall that is unencumbered by windows and go after it. Okay, stop the video. All right, so come on back and here is the next and final challenge. And I'm gonna call it the toilet paper stacking challenge. And I think you'll need, you'll need at least four. Some of you think you're hot shots. I think you can try six, no way. But here's how it's gonna go. So first of all, you have to be able to get into a good plank position like this. Okay, hips up. It's not any good if your knees are on the ground or if your hips are on the ground. So you have to be in a good plank position and have the toilet papers stacked, let's say on your right side. All right, I'm gonna shoot for, let's, let's say we start and I shoot for just two. Let's say I'm gonna go for a record of two right now. That's where I'm gonna start. So I get in the plank position and I start and then I bring them back. Got it? Now if you can get two, try three. And then it has to come back for it to be good. Okay, hot shots. Four. Now remember, if it falls over, it's not good. So you're going to try four. Up and come. So we're going to start again. Don't be in such a hurry. Okay, I'm sure you're a little bit better than me. See if you can do five. No way, but maybe you can do six. That would be impossible, but let me know. Shoot me an email, tell me what you've been able to do. This one looks like a lot of fun. Okay, have fun with the challenges today. See you tomorrow.